In today's video, we've got a bunch of new Blender add-ons and updates that I think you will find really useful. Whether you need lighting setups, simulation tools, texture libraries, or smart ways to manage your scenes, this list covers a bit of everything. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Let's start with Zencage, which looks simple, but can seriously change how you move and place stuff in Blender. The name is pretty fitting because this tool makes object manipulation feel way more peaceful. At the core, Zencage gives you a bounding box with handles that you can use to align, scale, rotate, distribute, or even array your objects in real time. You select the group and suddenly you've got this interactive cage, which makes everything visual and intuitive. So snapping objects to walls, aligning them to floors, or even filling up a shelf with books can be possible with the array tool. It is quick and simple now. And the best part is how fluid it feels. It is not buried in menus or panels. You just grab, drag and go. So if you do a lot of layout or scene dressing work, this one brings a lot of value with only nine bucks. Next we have Santu's procedural mapping, which I hope can catch your attention because this one is becoming really popular. So if you've ever messed around with procedural textures, and felt overwhelmed trying to blend or wrap them in creative ways, this tool is gonna feel like a savior. This one is not just a texture pack, it is a full-on node-powered mapping toolkit that gives you control over how your materials wrap around your models. You're working with clean triplanar systems, wrapping functions, pattern controls, in addition to other stuff, all inside a user-friendly interface. Personally, I really like how easy it is to layer details without getting that scratch UV look. The setup is that simple too. You just append the shader group and start using it like any regular material preset. So if you're into procedural workflows, this is one of those tools that just clicks and makes everything easier. Speaking of tools that make Blender easier, Memsaver just got a major update with version 1.3 and it is way smarter now. So instead of manually managing texture sizes or poly count, the new adaptive system does it for you based on what the camera actually sees. So if you've got high res textures or have a geometry tucked in the background, Memsaver knows when to scale them down to save memory and when to leave them alone. And the best part is, it is all non-destructive. So you can always roll things back if you change your mind. There's also a new animation model that looks for the frame where each object is largest before optimizing it, so nothing will look worse than it should be. And personally, I like the new decimate by distance feature. It is great for squeezing out more performance without any real visual trade-off. The next new add-on is called Scatterflow. The idea behind it is really simple, but really powerful. So you drop in a spawn sphere, pick a collection of objects, and hit play and boom, stuff starts falling and colliding in real time. You can control how many objects spawn, their scale range, their rotation, and even set it to spawn indefinitely if you're just vibing and want total chaos. But one thing caught my attention, and that is the iteration tool. Using it enables you to literally pick up objects mid-simulation, drag them around and toss them around. And there is even a dedicated tool for cloth, so if you want to mess around with fabric physics, it is built in as well. Now, let's talk about Scene Optimizer. This add-on isn't flashy, but it is very effective. I like how it batches lots of things with few clicks, and the real-time heat maps for mesh complexity is super helpful for finding high-poly nightmares before they choke your game engine or any project really. It also handles material cleanup, applies transforms, recenters origins, and checks for UV issues and guns and all the annoying stuff that always slips through the cracks. And when it is time to export, it's got built-in presets for both Unreal and Unity, which makes the whole process basically idiot-proof. Now let's get a little bit hands-on with the modeling process itself, with the add-on called Smart Groups, which helps you specifically with edge control and group management. Smart Group is one of those add-ons that quietly sneaks its way into your workflow and then suddenly feels essential. If you've ever found yourself 
pushing for a way to manage different parts of your mesh without constantly juggling selections or digging through modifiers, then this is gonna save your sanity. You can create groups from selected vertices, edges, or faces. Then tweak crease values, bevel weights, UV seams, and sharpness. All from one neat little panel. Personally, I really like the auto groups feature. It basically analyzes your mesh and groups elements based on their properties, which is a massive time saver. In addition, it comes with visual overlays and smart selection tools that make it way easier to stay organized, especially on complex models. Also, this new add-on called Render Toolbox will help you bring your renders to life with an all-in-one lighting, camera, and effect solution. Right off the bat, it gives you a quick HDRI setup with a full hemisphere and cubes with auto materials. Also, you have camera benchmarks that don't clutter your timeline and interactive lighting tools where you literally paint highlights right onto your model. Like hover, click, light, it is like magic. Personally, I really enjoy the lighting tab because it enables you to replace, rotate, scale, and adjust intensity with simple gestures and no fiddling around. And when you're ready for polishing, the effects tab add film style bloom, lens distortion, chromatic aberration, grain, vignettes, and so on, all without touching the compositor. So no more no spaghetti or randomly tweaking random nodes, just click, preview, then render. And honestly, it is one of the fastest I've seen when it comes to creating cinematic shots in Blender. Also, it is really affordable if you can get it now. If you are interested in surfacing and materials, there is a library called Zen Shaders. This one is packed with a super clean set of procedural shaders that are actually fun to use. You are getting 120 stylized materials, 50 decals, and 50 grunge textures, ready for Blender and Substance Painter. And yes, texture maps are included if you want to use them in other software. What I like the most is how customizable it all is, because there are sliders for outlines, rim light, softness, color, and you don't have to touch a single node if you don't want to. But it doesn't stop there. You're also getting over 550 stylized sculpt brushes, and more than 900 skin brushes for humans, creatures, and zombies, in addition to alpha images for cross-software flexibility. And with the 1.1 update, they added 40 realistic skin pour materials, 15 match caps, and 5 grand generators, making this library even more rich and useful. Last but not least, we have Animation Snapper Pro. So if you've ever had to manually align animations across different projects, then this add-on is probably for you. The add-on is packed with tools that make snapping animations a whole lot easier, and it does it with precision. Whether you are trying to match a mesh to a vertex, an edge, or even another object entirely, this tool handles it. You've got workflows like pivot to pivot, offset snapping, and even plain snapping with no keyframes at all. And the best part is, everything bakes into keyframes automatically. So no constraints, no parenting, and no mess. I found the offset helper feature super handy, because you can maintain that perfect distance between two objects even as they move. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description down below. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.